hey guys welcome to my channel in today's tutorial i'll be teaching you how to make this sleeveless circle top if you would like to learn to make this for yourself or a client definitely keep watching These are the items you will be needing. Of course, your measuring tape, the measurement itself, fabric, and poker, the chalk, and the scissors. So let's go ahead with the cutting. If you are small to medium size, what you will need is at least one and a half inches of a fabric. In this sense, I'm using the Ankara fabric. But if you are large to extra large, at least two inches for this flat top. So this is your fabric. You fold into two equal parts with right sides facing each other. And then again, you fold into four, just like this. Into two and then into four. If you folded it correctly, then you'll be having something like this. This part, which is a fold, it's where you will impute your neck measurements. And why this other part is where you impute your ample measurements. First of all, we mark out the length of the top we are making. In this case, the length is 22 inches. The length of the top I'm working with is 22 inches. And so I'm going to measure out 22.5 inches. The, five, the remaining 0.5 inch is for hemming the bottom of the top. So go ahead, 22.5. Mind you, your tape, the tip of your tape will be at this extreme. At this extreme. Just follow what I'm doing, guys. You will get it. 22.5. Mark 22.5. Still at this same point. Continue 22.5. So, if the length you are working with is 25, just add at least half inch to that length and mark all round. Neck measurement. So, the neck measurement I'm using here is 3.5 inches. Why am I using 3.5 inches? There's going to be a strap attached to this top. And that strap is going to be 4 inches. 4 inches long. So if you take 4 inches and add this 3.5 to it, I already have 7.5 inches as the depth of the neckline. But if you want your neckline to be deeper than this, just go ahead and increase it. It all depends on what you want. So I'll go ahead now. The width of the neckline I will be using 2.5 inches because I do not want the neck to be too wide. So you use your ankle and connect both points together. At this point, if you want your neck to be V-shape, go ahead and do a V-shape. If you want to be a sweetheart neck, whatever kind of shape of neck you want, you can actually determine it here right now. So I'm moving over to the armhole. Take into consideration this 2.5 inches here. The armhole I'm using is 8 inches. So we go on from this point now, we put in to the 8 inches. You mark the 8 inches. You mark the 8 inches right there. And then you go in with 1 inch. And then you join from this point of 8 inch to the point where the Neck 2.5 ended. And then you cut out. First of all, you cut out the length.
Then you move over to the neck and the ample cut out also. Just watch what I'm doing, guys. It's not, not difficult at all. It's not. And if you are getting value from this video, could you please just hit the like button? Thank you, Rico, right? Now you are wondering, ah, ah, was that the one that caught this? Was that the one that did? Yeah, you did. <laughs> this is the neck, the one we created. Cut out the entire length of the fabric, which is for 5 inches. And then the width of 1.5. The width of 1.5. And I cut this particular one in two pieces. These two pieces are the same measurement. Length 45, width 1.5. That's one and a half inches. And then the other strap, which is the third one, the same length 45 inches. And then with, with one inch, one inch, one inch. This one of one inch is what I will use to turn the arm hole. And with this one of 1.5 inches, is what I will use for the strap, the neck turning and to form the strap also. So let me teach you how you are supposed to use this one inch to turn the arm hole. Yes, you might be wondering, 45 inches is really long. Yes, it is. It's better for you to cut the one that's too long and then when you are done with it, you can discard the remaining one that for you to cut that which is not enough. This is the side seam of the top we are making. You can see it has no joining because of the way we arranged it to cut. And now, this is the armhole for both sides. Take the one of one inch width. And then you start, this is how you do it. Open it up, this is it. Open it up, this is the armhole. Open it up like this. right sides facing each other right side this is the right side of the fabric this is the right side of the strap you are caused the bias you are caused to turn the ample you put it like this you put it you place it on top of each other like this and then you use your pin you can use your pin to hold it mind you you can see that it's, it's surplus here i didn't put it exactly the point no come out more than the fabric the top itself and then you can pin you pin you can pin it all around like that all through the ample and then you stitch you stitch right here and after you have stitched it round you will come back open your seam like this or come back open it up turn it one and again giving you the edge of the first stitch. Then you go ahead and stitch. Stitch on this side, all round again. I'm gonna go off camera right now to do this. And when I come back, I'll show you what it looks like. So I've gone off camera to turn the ample, and this is what it looks like now. Beautiful, right? So I'm sure yours looks like this too. So like what, okay. Over here right now, I'm sure you are wondering why are these ones standing out. It's for a reason. I want to show you how to trim these edges off. You see this particular edge here? You're not just going to cut and cut the excess off like this. No. Because this is what forms the neck. The neck is coming like this. And so when you want to trim off this angle, this excess of the angle, you also trim according to how the neck like this because when you are fixing the arm the neck the neck hair bias it will also tell how that place was trained so you should be trained like this i purposely kept to teach you how to trim it the right way if you have already trimmed yours off maybe in your next project you just follow up on how to trim it the right way so that's that so right now I'm going to turn the so 
First of all, you determine the midpoint of the neckline by turning it like this. And you notch. Just a little notch. This same for the back. And you also notch. And you do the same thing for the straps. Fold into two equal parts. And then you can just use your chalk to determine the midpoint. Use your chalk to determine the midpoint. And you do the same for the other strap. You pick up one of the strap. Just follow what I'm doing, guys. Wrong side. Do you get right side of the strap, wrong side of the fabric? You go ahead and place on each other. Right side to the wrong side of the fabric. And then you stitch. Let me use the pin first so I will explain further. So you get exactly what I'm explaining. So it's going to be something like this. Going to be like this. You stitch, you're going to arrange it like this all through. And then you stitch and you stitch to this extent. You stitch all here, you stop here, you stitch, and you also stop here. And then you come back here. When you stitch, you stop here, you stitch, you stop here. You go to the extreme of your bias. The extreme of the bias now. You can cut off this part or you fold it in. And then you turn one, and then like this, and like this. This is what you are sewing. This is what you are stitching. Your stitch will be right here. So and then you sew and sew, and you get to this part because here is already attached to the bias. When you get here, you do the same thing. It's already attached to the bias. So it's folded like this. Your seam is already coming like this. And so you fold, because you already attached that first one. You just turn one, turn one, and two. Give it a top stitch here. Same thing here, here it's already attached. Turn one. And two, give it a top stitch, and that's what you're going to do all through. When you get here, just exactly what you did to this other side, to continue here and continue your strap to the end. Continue your strap to the end. Do the same for this side, and then you turn the back. What you will have is strap here, strap here, attached to the neck, a beautiful neckline with four dangling straps. And then you tie on your four inches. Go up camera right now to do this. And then I'll also aim the bottom of the top. If you have a serger, you can just search and then turn once. You can do the mirror stitching. Otherwise, the absence of both, you can turn twice. One. You are not stitching yet fold one and then you fold again then you stitch into the sewing machine and stitch all round I've, I've gone ahead to turn it just the way I explained it to you turn this and turn this if you followed exactly what I said you have exactly this kind of results so this is it guys all you need to do now is to take your measuring tape or you can as well decide to put it on and then know where to tie you can mark four inches on the other side you can mark four inches and then you tie just ensure that your knot stops at four inches on both sides or you can try to put it on and then tie your four inches knot so if you decide oh i want the uh, neckline to come down more than this just manipulate the Hand length, however, way to be suiting 
for you. Okay, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Please do remember to subscribe to my channel, like, share my videos. Thank you.